Let's now cover tricuspid regurgitation. What do the guidelines say? Well, TEAR got an upgrade. It's now an established therapeutic option for patients with severe tricuspid regurgitation if they do not have severe right ventricle dysfunction and no severe pulmonary hypertension. In addition, if you're operating on the left heart, you should be quite liberal with also operating on the tricuspid valve. Definitely if TR is severe, but probably also if it is moderate and maybe also in even mild forms of TR if they have a dilated annulus more than 40 millimeters. In addition, the guidelines now recognize a new phenotype called functional atrial tricuspid regurgitation. Here, the right atrium is dilated and is the cause for tricuspid regurgitation. These patients have a better outcome when you perform tear and also a better prognosis. Here, you should still treat these patients quite aggressively. And of course, you should consider that they're also candidates for a tear procedure. And finally, the guidelines also recognize that we have a new category of TR severity called torrential. They do not provide a cutoff values, however, when it is severe and when it is torrential, but they do state that you should not let patients develop torrential TR in the first place. So you should intervene earlier. So I hope you got something out of these posts. If you want to stay up to date with respect to the guidelines, we have a specific course for you called Guidelines in Focus. Here we cover not only the past, but also the future guidelines. So I hope to see you there.